Hello and welcome to Gear Wednesday on Friendly House TV. My name is Michael and in this episode I'm gonna get you through the brand new Arturia Mini Brute 2S. The Mini Brute 2S is a semi-modular monophonic analog synthesizer with two oscillators. The first oscillator contains four different waveforms which can all be shaped individually. The second VCO got three waveforms and can be tuned in different stages for super fast adoption. Worth to be mentioned is that it can be tuned down to a very low frequency range and therefore can be used as an additional LFO. Talking of which, the Mini Brute 2S has plenty of modulation sources on board. Two identical LFOs which provide us six waveforms each to choose from, an ADSR as well as an AD envelope. The AD envelope can be set to loop and switch between gate and trigger mode, which gives us either an LFO type modulation source or rhythmic trigger section. This is super smart and offers us many possible directions where we can take our sound to. As mentioned, and also hard to oversee, the Mini Brute 2 as well as the Mini Brute 2S are semi-modular. The built-in patch bay provides 48 CV connectors in total and lets us send almost every parameter to the other one. It really didn't take me long to kind of find myself in a very exciting situation with the little big brutes. As you would probably expect from a Turia, there's of course also a Steiner multimode filter, which can either be a low pass, a high pass, a band pass, or a notch type filter. It sounds totally nasty in my ears, anyway. Like that's still not enough. The Mini Brew 2 and 2S got built in frequency and ring modulation to make the patch have more overtones and sound even more exciting if you want so. The brute factor is something interesting which needs to be explained quickly. It basically feeds the main VCA's output signal back into the filter. The feedback. Be careful with your speakers. They might get an overtone overdose. Last but not least, and that's the actual difference between the Mini Brute 2 and 2S model, is the sequencer section. And they made the sequencer quite powerful. It basically is a free track sequencer with up to 64 steps per pattern, can save up to 64 patterns. Obviously for gate, pitch and velocity. But also for LFAO sequencing, envelope sequencing and other CVs. And suddenly it gives you way more freedom in terms of creativity. Of course, you can also play the Mini Brute 2S as a one octave keyboard on its pads. For those who are like me and love appetiators, breathe in and breathe out. It's there provided with everything you would expect from a proper patiator. So overall, I have to be honest and say that I was quite skeptic before I started the preps for this review, but did experience a very positive surprise. This is a beefy sounding monster. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.